This is an interesting change of strategy. Microsoft has announced that a standalone, non-subscription version of Office will be released in the second half of 2021 for both Windows and Mac users, quoting Windows Central. Microsoft will release a new perpetual release of Microsoft Office in the second half of 2021. The new perpetual release only appears in a single sentence of a post by the Exchange team at Microsoft, but it confirms that new versions of Office are on the way to Windows and Mac. While many have moved over to Microsoft 365, some prefer a perpetual license for Office that allows them to purchase a product once and have it forever. Microsoft usually releases perpetual updates to Office every few years, though some were concerned that Office 2019 would be the last perpetual update. Luckily for those who prefer a perpetual license, a new version is on the way, end quote. No word on price or the exact date of availability, but for whatever reason, count me as one of those who enjoys having a perpetual license. I don't know why. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. Maybe I just actually enjoy owning a thing, at least in theory. I don't need a new version of Office every year. Twice a decade is fine for me, or at least has been for the last 20 years or so, usually. As Kate Cox snarked, quote, software as a purchase, what a novel idea. And as Raj Sarkar tweeted, this is called disrupting the industry and thinking outside the box. Who said SaaS pricing only has to be a subscription? We all know you can easily build a price using perpetual cash flows, end quote. It's just Microsoft used to get perpetual corporate licensing and bundling with hardware sales. They still have that, and now they have a robust subscription product. So why leave money on the table, even if we get to a world where everyone just pays Uber or whoever it is that wins $300 to $500 a month for transportation as a service? There will still be some people who will want to pony up and pay $30,000 a year or more to actually own their own cars. In such a world, those customers will always exist, so why not take their money? 